Hi everyone, let's go over my bearish Elliott Wave scenarios on Bitcoin, including two psychology scenarios as well. Starting on the medium time frame, where I'm looking for a three-wave structure to the downside in a WXY, where currently my main thought is a double zigzag, where this wave W is a zigzag to the downside in an ABC, where this wave B retraced to the 0.3A2, which is a common target for a wave B, and a more rare target for a wave 2, so that increases the probabilities for a wave B here. For then an impulsive C to the downside, currently working on a wave X for then eventually a wave Y to the downside, which then also is a zigzag. If the high of X is already in over here, and we get, for example, a triangle in this wave X, then you can pull a trend-based fib extension from the high to the low of W to the highest pivot of this wave X. And the most common target area for wave Y is then between the 1 and the 1.236, which is between 21.7K and 20.1K. And what is interesting is the support areas that I have around these levels. First of all, the support area just above the 1 to 1, which is 21.8K to 22.6K. And more interesting in this particular scenario is the one below 20. 2k to 20.6k now what is important in this scenario and what is by far most common is that this trend line over here that you can see will be broken this is a trend line from the high over here the beginning of wave a to the high of wave b preferably we will continue to range break this trend line and then continue with another zigzag to the downside a three wave structure if we look on the low time frame, which is one of the ideas to also break that one trend line, a triangle is definitely one to keep an eye on. So in this particular triangle, wave C is in and we are currently working on a wave D to the downside. Now, a couple of rules that are important for a triangle is that four out of five waves have to be a zigzag structure. If one of the waves are not a zigzag, it tends to be a double or a triple zigzag in wave C or D. And you can also have a triangle in wave E, D or e which is another complex structure but it's less common now in this scenario we have then a a zigzag b a zigzag and c a zigzag volume has to continue to the downside as this pattern is evolving and this wave d over here could also be a double zigzag on the lower time frame zigzag number one finished then we have a corrective structure and then we're looking for another zigzag to the downside where the most common target for a wave d is between the 786 and the golden pocket taken from the low of b to the high of this wave B as uh, wave C as you can see this wave B over here is below the low of the origin of the zigzag of wave A which is fine because then we are talking about a running triangle which looks something like this now finally we then look for a wave E preferably that's what I always like is this wave E going above the upper trend line of the triangle because then you have a fake out people break out longing here but then those are the ones that eventually get stopped out as price would then be moving towards the downside now as it stands important invalidations is if price would go above this level over here at 27.5k as well as below this wave B before wave E is in now if we then zoom in again and go to the one hour time frame, then as mentioned for this wave D in a potential triangle, still a bit early to call, but it is definitely an interesting scenario. For that wave D, we could be looking for a double zigzag to the downside. Over here then, this is being an ABC, where wave C ended in the most common target area for a wave C, between the 1 and the 1.236, taken from the high to the low of A to the high of B, so that is very nice indeed. For then a wave X and then a eventually a wave Y to the downside. Now something that is very very interesting and something that I actually got reminded to is the 0 0.3 that is on the chart. So if I open Discord over here then you can see that Nighthawk definitely studied some of the websites that I've been talking about because he said over here, hey, in your last video, you said that the triangle is a bit less likely because it didn't yet hit the 3A2. But on the website of AW Tough, which I shared in Discord, it says that wave X usually retraces to at least 30% of wave W and the 30 has been hit. And that is indeed correct. The 0.3 has been hit. Now it is still 
not common for the 0 0.3 to be hit and then reverse, right? The most common Fibonacci levels are always like the 236, 382, 05, Golden Pocket, 786, 886. Those are by far the most used Fibonacci targets for Elliott Waves, which is also the reason why I always speak about the 382 and preferably for a Wave X, even in a double zigzag, I would like to look for the 382. However, he's absolutely correct. The 0 0.3 has been hit. You can see a reaction over here. So if price moves down it could like uh, be the end of a wave x maybe some sort of a structure here right or a wxy for then continuation to the downside next week now that is something we're looking for anyway right longs are currently as it stands on most of the different time frames a higher risk on basically all time frames the medium time frame more locally over here as well as on the lower time frame price is downtrending and the elliott wave scenarios have a higher probability for price looking for lower prices so in this particular scenario we're looking for a WXY, again, a potential double zigzag with a zigzag in this wave Y as well, where an interesting target is the lower support box over here between 25.7K and 26K. So if we then go to the first psychology scenario, I'm looking at this trend line, which is the same trend line as shared earlier for the potential double zigzag on the medium time frame, where also for the double zigzag, preferably you are breaking this trend line for then a wave Y zigzag to the downside, but also also from a psychology perspective I think it would be very interesting to break this trend line over here as I've drawn on the chart for then a move to the downside reason being that many starting traders of course use trend lines they are looking for hey resistance one resistance two resistance three there's clearly a certain trend going on if price breaks the trend line you have first of all the breakout traders but it would especially be interesting if we backtest the trend line then move up a little bit for then the traders over here that are entering the long side after a retail test of the trend line but then you get that move towards the downside faking out the breakout of the trend line and the second psychology scenario is a head and shoulder scenario over here where for a head and shoulders you have the shoulder left the head and then the shoulder on the right side where this target is basically the high to the midline but then the other way around target sitting at 17.7k so usually what happens is the moment the neckline is broken people are shorting over here stop loss somewhere wherever and they're going to be looking for this target but what i think is interesting on the high time frame and tonight at 7 p.m central european time you will have the macro and high time frame video update coming up what i think is interesting is price moving to the downside but not reaching this target all the way down here but instead moving back towards the upside also again faking out the people over here that are looking for shorts for much lower prices instead price goes down but eventually finds the strength to go back towards the upside upside for new highs now as already mentioned while going through the video the probabilities on basically most of the time frames are towards the downside on the medium time frame we're looking still for a move to the downside on the low time frame this is an interesting scenario which eventually also results to downside and even more locally for a wave d we are eventually looking for a move to the downside and also on the micro this wxy we are still looking for a move to the downside as well i hope this video was helpful or interesting to you please check out the most recent educational video i've made about the best trading indicator you can use and for now thanks for watching and subscribing and i'd like to see you at the next one bye bye